Last year, one of my most popular videos was a 1v1 series in NBA 2K19 where we found out who the best 1v1 player in NBA was. Now, of course, we got a new year. We got new ratings for every single player. So, of course, we got to find out who the best 1v1 player is in NBA 2K20. If you guys are new here, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and smash the like button. This video took me a very long time to make. But how we're actually going to be running this NBA 2K20 tournament is we took the 16 highest overall players in the game. And then we ranked them by overall based on how they were in the game. So our top player in this tournament is going to be Kawhi Leonard. Second is going to be LeBron. And then our lowest overall player is actually Kemba Walker. So there's about a nine overall difference between the top and worst players. And then from here to make it fair, we set up two sides to this tournament. We set up a guards on the left side of our bracket and then a forwards slash center side on the right side of the bracket. Now this almost worked out perfectly, but we had one extra forward slash center. So I actually moved Paul George to the guard side of this tournament. And then it made it super easy on the forward and center side. We had four forwards and four centers. So then we split those up evenly on the top and bottom side of the right bracket. And how these guys are going to face off, we're going to be putting them into a game of blacktop in NBA 2K20. And we're going to be running this game to 11 points. So first person hit 11 points and you do have to win by two. They'll be winning and they'll be moving on in this tournament. It's best of one. So if you lose, you're out. This is a pretty brutal challenge. You got to win to win. But anyways, without further ado, let's get into our first game. We got James Harden versus Kemba Walker. Starting off this game, we got Harden with the ball. The highest overall is always going to start with the ball. And he gets a nice post move. Start off the game, Kemba Walker coming right back to tie it up. But then Harden inside again. Kemba right back at him. Just going back and forth to start this game. Harden inside and a nice move there to get open. And then Kemba blocked by Harden who gets the ball and the perfect release to take the lead. And he gets his takeover badge, misses a shot, gets his own board. And James Harden starting to take a pretty good lead here. Right inside for a big dunk. Harden, his classic step back, his signature step back. And he hits it despite the good defense from Kemba Walker. Harden in the post again. And he is just taking over right now. Kemba's cold, but he finally gets another bucket. Harden, step back, perfect release for the win. And James Harden is going to be our first player to move on. I mean, checking out these stats, Kemba Walker only shooting three for 11, only getting three points there. Whereas James Harden went nine for 13, two for three from three, and he also had nine rebounds. Next up, we got 92 overall Damian Lillard versus 91 overall Kyrie Irving. Lillard starting with the ball here, step back from three, and that shot is no good. So Kyrie gonna come inside for an easy layup. Lillard in the post, but Kyrie with a nice steal, and Lillard's already cold this early into the game. Kyrie inside, and another easy layup for him. Gets the ball back again for a big dunk. Kyrie starting to take over this game. Lillard finally getting something to go right there. Kyrie inside, a perfect release. Lillard not quitting yet. He actually wants to come... Right back in this game, Kyrie missing a layup, but then he gets his second chance points. And he has a three-point lead. Make that a four-point lead. Let's see if Lillard can do anything to come back inside. A perfect release, but Kyrie gets his takeover badge from that. I have no idea how. He hits a two-pointer. He has a five-point lead now. Uh, and Lillard doing whatever he can to stay in this, but he just cannot stop Kyrie on offense coming in side gets the game within four but Kyrie only needs two more points to win this a tough layup game point for Kyrie Irving inside a perfect release to win the game checking out the stats Kyrie only missing two shots this game he also had seven rebounds and a steal whereas Lillard actually shot five for 11 he only had one rebound. So up next, we got the two teammates facing off. 95 overall Stephen Curry versus 89 overall Klay Thompson. 
Curry starting off with the ball right here. A step back and the perfect release for a two to start the game. What a way to start. Clay getting his own perfect release inside there though. Curry with the ball again. Another step back and he hits another two pointer. So Curry with a pretty nice lead to start off this game. But Clay working him down low. Kind of keep it interesting. Curry tries to nutmeg Clay. And Clay gets the ball back and gets the game within one point. Curry inside. That was a nasty move. He went like behind the back right there. Clay in the post, though, is a complete beast. Curry cannot stop him. And they're just going back and forth at this point. Curry keeping that one or two point lead. Curry inside again. Heavily contested shot right there. But he still gets it to go. Clay missing a shot, but he gets his own rebound. And now Curry inside again for a big dunk. But Clay keeps on coming back here. He is not giving up. He does not want to lose to his teammate. Tries to numb make Clay again, and Clay gets his takeover badge and ties the game all up. And nine to nine. Curry trying to get inside, and he takes that one point lead. Clay coming right back at him, though. 10 to 10 and at this point in the game these guys were missing a lot of shots now i cut it so you guys don't have to watch all of that but these guys were bricking shots they're all tied up at 11 points clay gets the ball comes inside and finally takes a lead in this game gets the ball back curry strips it for him but clay gets the ball back and he wins it right there checking out the box score when i said they missed a lot of shots they missed a lot of shots clay shot 13 for 31 he had two blocks two steals and 22 rebounds stephen curry on the other hand shot 9 for 34 he had two steals and 21 rebounds up next we got x teammates 93 overall paul george versus 90 overall russell westbrook so paul george did start with the ball but he had a turnover, and Westbrook gets inside for the first points of the game. Paul George coming right at him, though. So Paul George being a small forward, um, he does he can play guard, though. He's going to be kind of the tallest of all these guards. So we're going to find out kind of how that works out in this tournament. Missing a shot there, but gets his own board. And he takes a lead against Westbrook. Gets the ball again. A two-point lead for Paul George and... He has his takeover badge missing, but gets his own rebound. Uh, usually we see Russell Westbrook getting a lot of boards in the games, but this time it's Paul George. A nice spin move. Was that a nutmeg too? That was pretty crazy. Westbrook missing a shot right there. Gets his own board. And he's still keeping it pretty close right here. Paul George with a three-point lead. Westbrook coming back, dunking over Paul George, now Paul George getting inside for the perfect release. He has not given up this three-point lead. A big block on Westbrook. Another block on Westbrook. Paul George with his takeover badge again. And he now has a four-point lead. Getting inside, dunking on Westbrook. It is game point, but Westbrook with a nasty spinning nutmeg. And Paul George for the win. He gets the easy dunk right there. Checking out the box score, Westbrook shooting six for 22, and he also had nine rebounds. Whereas Paul George shot 11 for 18 with five blocks and 12 rebounds. So we have finished the guard side of the bracket. Up next, we're moving over to our forwards. We got 97 overall Kawhi Leonard versus 96 overall Kevin Durant. Of course, Kawhi starting with the ball right here. A nice little hop step inside. Get the first points of the game, Durant. Coming right back at him, hitting a 100% smothered shot. Kawhi inside again. I mean, these guys are just going in for the easy layups. Kawhi with a big steal and the perfect release to take a two-point lead. Durant with a tough shot. He somehow still hits it. Durant has only hit 100% smothered shots so far in this game. Kawhi has his takeover badge. Durant is cold. He dunks on Durant. Gets another steal inside. And Kawhi with a four-point lead now. Durant, nice move right there, though. He's still in this. Kawhi, step back. Good defense by Durant, but Kawhi's just beasting right now. Durant, a tough shot again, 100% smothered. Kawhi fading away, perfect release right there. 
And now Kawhi getting inside. He has a five point lead. Durant trying to do what he can to come back here, missing a few shots. And finally, gets a bucket to go. Kawhi, 100% smothered, misses, gets his own board, misses, gets his own board. And then finally, the perfect release. Kawhi at game point, getting inside for the layup. And Kawhi Leonard gonna win this game Kevin Durant shooting 5 for 18 here with 10 rebounds and Kawhi Leonard shot 11 for 23 with two steals and 15 rebounds our next matchup is between the king and the MVP 97 overall LeBron versus 96 overall Giannis and Tedekumpo now LeBron did get a start with the ball but he did have a turnover and Giannis starting off with a nice and nutmeg to score first but then LeBron Coming back at him with a nice post move. Getting inside for a big dunk. And then LeBron again with the ball blocked by Giannis. But he gets the ball back. Misses. And the third attempt finally goes in for LeBron James. There Giannis coming inside though. These are two of the best dunkers in the game. So it's really interesting to watch these guys face off. All tied up 3-3. Three to three. LeBron spinning inside. Blocked by Giannis who gets his takeover badge. And this could flip the game upside down. Giannis inside with a two-point lead. Has the ball again. A perfect release, even though that was great defense. Again inside for a big dunk. And Giannis is just taking over this game with his takeover match. Five-point lead. Has the ball again. Make that a six-point lead for Giannis. Again, he has the ball inside game point for Giannis. It was all tied up at three, and Giannis ends up taking the 11-3 victory. Checking out the box score, Giannis only with three misses, and he also had 11 rebounds and five blocks. LeBron, on the other hand, went three for 18, missing everything. He had six rebounds. Up next, we got our first matchup between centers. We got 94 overall Anthony Davis versus 89 overall Carl Anthony Towns. So AD missing his first shot, Cat with the ball, and Cat is gonna be our first score of this game. AD with a nice spin move inside, tough shot, but he hits it, a big block. On Cat, but Cat gets the ball back. And the perfect release there. Cat inside again. Both these guys are beasts in the paint. So this is actually a really good matchup. Anthony Davis getting inside and his takeover badge. And a huge dunk to tie the game. AD misses the shot, gets his own board. And then he finally taking a lead right here. Cat coming right back at him. Anthony Davis with another perfect release inside. Carl Anthony Towns, these guys are just going back and forth. Anthony Davis with a huge block right there to take a one point lead. Cat and AD with another block. This gives him a two point lead and his takeover badge, a three point lead now for Anthony Davis. Make that a four point lead. Let's see if Cat can do anything to come back. There we go. Nice layup inside right there. Again, Cat getting inside. But Anthony Davis now with the ball. Cat does have his takeover badge. So he could come back right here. A tough shot, but he gets a perfect release. Anthony Davis inside. Game point. Fading away. And he hits the shot. Carl Anthony Towns, 23 rebounds this game, one block, and he shot eight for 34. Whereas Anthony Davis had 10 blocks in this game. He shot 11 for 24 and had 14 rebounds. We're now moving on to our last matchup of the day. We got 91 overall Joel Embiid versus 90 overall Nikola Jokic. Embiid starting with the ball right here, getting inside a tough shot, 100% smothered. And then Nikola Jokic missing that shot and the second chance points are good for him. All tied up at one. Embiid with a perfect release, but he's blocked. Gets a second chance points there. Embiid again inside, taking a two point lead. Jokic blocked by Embiid, gets the ball back, blocked again, and Embiid with his takeover badge right there. But Jokic coming right back at him. Not giving up, Embiid takes a three-point lead right here. Jokic, a really tough shot, but somehow he hits that right over Embiid inside for the dunk. Jokic starting to come back a little bit right here, but Embiid is 
keeping this two-point lead. Jokic kind of going back and forth at this point. Misses inside, gets his own board, and Jokic ties up the game. And Bede does not want that, though. Takes a one-point lead. Jokic with his takeover badge inside. All tied up at seven. Embiid with the spin move, though. Perfect release. And Embiid gets the ball back and the layup to take a two-point lead. Both these guys with their takeover badge. Embiid with the block and dunking over Jokic. Game point spinning inside for the W. Nikola Jokic ends up going seven for 25 there. He had one block and 14 boards. And Joel Embiid went 11 for 22, four blocks, boards. And that's gonna be our last matchup of the day. So this is everybody that did end up moving on to the second round. Make sure that you smash that like button if you did end up enjoying this video. And make sure you subscribe with notifications on. That way you don't miss out when we upload the finals of this 1v1 tournament. This has been your boy Spickle though, and I'll see you next time. Peace. They got prelins on prelins on prelins on prelins on prelins on prelins that's all, but my run through the money, the press will be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage, I'm going through something, that's why I ain't calling. Phone and progression, it's all that I wanted. The phone and affection, I summon and dub it. Cause they got prelins on prelins on prelins on prelins on prelins on prelins that's all, but my run through the money.